I also want to get rid of this poison barb real quick. We're not going to be using it. Okay, what? Where's the mark? Because I want to see if I can get more repels while I'm here. And then we'll head off into the forest. Or I guess we're heading off into the forest now. Fuck it. How can I help you? x Force is big. Be careful. Don't get lost. The forest is watched over by its protector. Stay out of mischief. Such good music. Oh man, my boss is going to be steaming! The far fetch that cuts trees for the charcoal took off on me. I can't go looking for it in the Elix Forest. It's too big, dark, and scary for me. I'm a little bitch. Well. I guess now's as good of a time to start as any. I hope we can make it out of here in a thousand steps. But if we can, we'll be at our next city where we can buy all the repels we want. So now we basically get to play a game of peekaboo. And I remember this specifically when Pigeon did it. Because he 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 named the part Qua. And he had some sort of slave, which I think was like a diglet or something. But it's weird because I don't remember him being able to have something like that right now. Was it down? I'm gonna say it's down. And we convinced him to name it nigger was it up or was it right I think it's we want to do it from up and I want to say it was in this part that he he didn't say anything but um he he pulled up the menu and it was just there and he was super fucking embarrassed about it and I just thought it was the funniest thing Hi. Wow, I think it's a whole bunch. My boss Pokemon won't be won't obey me because I don't have a badge. It's probably because you're a bitch. <laughs> I thought he was saying that. Ah, oh, my far fetched. You found it for us, kid. Without it, we wouldn't be able to cut trees for charcoal. Thanks, kid. Now, how can I thank you? I know. Here, take this. That's cut! Teach that to a Pokemon to clear small trees. Of course, you have to have the gym badge from Azalea to use it. Which, I mean, I think, based on the fight with Silver, you need it. Alright, moving on. So, now that we have our first HM, which I know everyone hates cut, and I do think it was kind of funny, like, looking back at it, how I stood up for cut the way I did. Like, I was making it sound like the best move ever. It's not the best move ever, but I still don't hate Cut. The HMs I hate are, like, Rock Smash. And then there's another... Uh, Flash. And then there's another one later in this game that I detest as well. But it's useful, just not on a team like this. Which, Cut is useful, just not in a competitive sense. It's an honor of the Forest Protector, which I'm pretty sure is Celebi. And I also want to say there's some sort of, like, Heart Gold Soul Silver DLC where right here you can fight Giovanni, and I think that's the fucking coolest goddamn thing. But I don't know how to access stuff like that, so that's more of the reason why I chose not to do it as well. By the way, there's a Paris here, so um, that's a perfect thing for both Flash and Cut. I need a repel. Hell, I want to move you all the way the fuck up here. Because that'll help me out immensely. I remember that being that little pro tip. And I also feel like invisible items aren't present in... I don't remember if there are any invisible items in the Gen 3 remakes. I know for a fact they're not in Sun and Moon. Or I've just never found them. Oh shit, that scared me. Alright, so straight up, I skipped the dialogue box because I was trying to get this, but that was just coincidental timing. But yes, now that the egg has hatched, we want to call the professor. Hello, Gold, how's the egg? 
What? It hatched? Wow, what kind of Pokemon is it? Please come and show me now. Now, because of where we are currently, and the fact that home is all the- What, bitch, I wasn't done. Home is all the way over here, I would much rather wait until we go up, go through here, and then we'll shortcut back home. So not until we're basically done with the next gym are we going to go back and show him the egg. And the reward for doing that, because I was curious about this myself, I forgot because it's super easy to forget, he just gives you an Everstone. Everstone is great if you don't want a Pokemon to evolve. There's also a trick you can do, which is Gen 3 onwards, where if you get a Pokemon to hold an Everstone and have it breed with another Pokemon, it will pass that nature down. So if you get one with a Jolly nature and you have it hold an Everstone because you're like, bitch, I want my guys to be Jolly, then the odds of the bred Pokemon being Jolly is a lot higher. Alright, uh, one sec. Sorry, unprofessionalism aside, back to Pokemon. So we get TM2 uh, from him, which is Headbutt, which they tried to make into... Like, there's a couple moves that aren't quite HMs, they're TMs that do stuff out of battle. The two that they give you are Headbutt and Sweet Scent. I'm not gonna teach it to anyone, but basically you can have them Headbutt trees, and then a Pokemon or an item is likely to fall out. Usually, it's a hoot hoot. So that's there if you want to do it. I'm not gonna do it. Slowpoke's gonna learn headbutt leveling up. Granted, it's gonna be in like a year, but he'll still learn it up leveling up. Which also sucks, because that means he's not gonna learn. I'm pretty sure he doesn't learn psychic until level 50. So that's what I dislike about this game, which is more the reason why I was considering maybe doing the remakes, is because they're a lot more forgiving with having you know, four generations worth of moves versus just two. But, uh, yeah, we made it through the Elix Forest. Talk to me, bitch. Did you see the shrine honoring the protector? It watches over the forest from across time. I think that must make it... A, it must be a grass-type Pokemon. <laughs> oh, honey, you're making a Pokedex? It must be hard if Pokemon won't appear. Try using this. It's sweet scent! Use it whenever Pokemon appear. Pokemon will be enticed by- well, that's basically what I was telling you, is you can go ahead and use it out of, um, battle. Anyway, right here is a route where I'm gonna go ahead and clear a whole bunch of trainers, because there's no point in me talking over these fights. It's just gonna drag out the video unnecessarily long. We basically could have cut out, like, two videos had I done this before. So I will see you right down here in a second. Alright, so real quick, we have cleared out these four, five trainers? And Slowpoke basically did all of it, um, except for that little girl right there in the grass. She's supposed to be the one that can ring you up and say, hey, there's a leaf stone. She never gave me a leaf stone, though, so... And the reason I'm choosing to pick up and talk right here is because I do want to, um, document, I guess, a trick real quick. And that is... should be well known. In any game, if you go ahead and deposit your Pokemon, you can withdraw them right back out of the um, PC, and they will be fully healed. So, since there's no Pokemon Center within um, super close distance, we want to do it this way, so this way we can get our guys all healed up and what such like that. Um, I think I can go ahead and get rid of Togepi for the moment, too. Because Togepi's not really going to be doing me any favors, not for... Not until the next gym is done. And right here is the uh, daycare, where you can go ahead and you can breed Pokemon, and you can drop them off and have them level them up for you. So if this is the way you choose to do it, there you go. I don't know how you're supposed to find out if you have an egg, because I've never actually breeded in this game before. I would much rather do it in the more uh, advanced games, or at least Fire Red onward, Gen 3 onward, let's say switch them right back and by the looks of it there's still a few more fights so I'll see you after I clear out these last few guys because I think it's what a couple more what 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 scare the shit out of me like that Jesus Christ oh my god that was a heart attack alright so it was just this guy who had a growlithe which whipped my ass 
and then this guy. But everything else on this route is basically clear. There was no items of interest to collect or anything of the sort. So now we are in Goldenrod City. So I don't think I need to go to. A I'm gonna say no for right now. Uh, yeah, let's go here actually, because I know what I'm about to do. Do I'm gonna go do a couple things before I decide to turn on my little cheats and uh make everybody hate me, and then I'll. Save the recording, start back up, and we will meet you with some cheats on, but they will just be for a short period of time. Because right here we have this colossal mart, which we're not about to explore yet. The Radio Tower in Golden Watch 30 is a landmark, they're running a promotional campaign right now. They'll even fly your Pokemon. Ugh. Bitch, I'm moving! Get out the way! Is it this? Your playground, Goldenrod Game Corner. That's exactly the reason we want all that money, so I can just get the um, TM I want out of there with a uh, little to no problem. Uh, that's not where I want it to be, right? Yeah, no, hold on. There's one of the. I think it's that back house that's the one that we don't need. Oh, there he's talking about his peepee. -pee. That's great. Shut up! What was it, Craig? Shut up, Clad! I'm. Ruin, I say it's pee pee. I think it was Clyde. I don't remember. Yo, the name raider? Is it this guy right here? Is he the name raider? Are you the name raider? He's the name raider. Fantastic. I would not. Okay, come here. See, when I first found out about the name raider, I believe that was genuine. Like, I thought he was going to tell me, um,. Wow, this is a really great nickname. I give it a 10 out of 10 or something like that. But, so I didn't realize that that was the truth, that um, he was just there to ch rename them. And then after a while, I clued in. So right down here, there's a bunch of Pokemon fights too, which we're going to go ahead and uh, skip through. They are kind of tough. So that lady was not kidding. I know there's guys down here with Magnemites and stuff, so I'm going to cut through it. Okay, I have taken everyone out down here. So giving you a small, quick tour real quick. This door, I believe, is locked. That is correct. So here are the, the bought those two guys, and then this guy is the um, salon. So if you want to make your uh, Pokemon like you more, then you can go ahead and do this once per day. And then right down here is the herb seller. Now the herbs heal your Pokemon, but they make your Pokemon dislike you because I guess herbs just suck or something. And then we got two more fights right down here. Now I made an oopsie right here. Shit. Just know that this is here. Force of habit. I need to break that immediately. So I'm trying to break myself of that habit. But that's all the fights that are down here. I barely made it through. It's a tough area down there. Also, trainers, I'm scared to go down there. You should be, babe. Alright, so now we're lost in Goldenrod again. Goldenrod's kind of an intimidating because of how big it is, but, like, you learn it. I'll walk around here, I guess. You collect my Pokemon. Son Bill is an expert. He had to leave for the Pokemon Center in Ekritik. Are you a trainer? I've got a useful phone number for you. And then you get Bill's number. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, he made the PC. My brother's the coolest. His name is Bill. That's the game corner. Yeah, so that's basically almost everything. There's like one other thing I want to go ahead and um, get real quick before we um, do, do the money thing. Actually, there's two things I want to do real quick. One's cut out, the other's not, but there's a little bit more fighting we can do, and there's one other area of Goldenrod we haven't shown off well. There's also, excuse me, there's also this, um, this is the train station right here, but we can't use this yet. And this is the radio tower, which isn't important to us yet. What do you want, Pest Scram? <laughs> he just yells. Kind of reminds me of, um, what do you call it? the dudes in uh, Saffron who get all mouthy and stuff. 
I know there's a new bike shop, but I can't find it anywhere. Well, all he's got to do is just walk a little bit further down here, and use the bike shop. And the bike shop dude is like, Bro, I moved here, but I can't find shit! Why is that? Could you ride a bicycle and advertise for me? Yes. Really? Great. I'll give you my, your name and phone number, and I'll loan you a bicycle. So this one's a freebie. You can ride them anywhere, except you... You want to see how much you can ride them anywhere? Allow me to demonstrate. Gold, this isn't the time to use that. You can ride them anywhere. I didn't know what sell meant for the longest time, but it's basically the quick select option, which I think is L. That is correct. So L on the control pad, and then we can um, get on our bike. It just takes a small second to load up. But this is... Since we don't have running shoes, this is going to be our way of getting about. What do you have to say? Treat your pose, come on nicely, they will love you in return. Oh, let me see your bay leaf, it's quite cute. Thanks, babe. Now, the happiness thing was, um... Yeah, they end up fainting, maybe that's why they don't like me. I don't think this game introduced return and frustration. I think it was Gen 3 that did that. But the primary reason for the happiness is because they did things like happiness-based evolutions, which is something for, like, Espeon, Umbreon, Crobat. Um, those are the ones that come to mind, but I'm sure there's more. Oh, I think Igglybuff, Cleffa as well, Pichu. So they introduced that. Now, down here, we're going to have more trainers and a little bit to explore. Excuse me, guy. Can you do a guy a favor? I'm not your guy, friend. Can you take this Pokemon with mail to my friend? He's on Route 31. Perfect. Thanks, guy. My pal's a chubby guy who snoozes all the time. You'll recognize him right away. G fucking... <laughs> this is why I want to hurry up and save and uh, start up a new session, because I don't want to chance this thing fucking up. This is like the only controller that the game pack is even close to being steady in. Everything else will crash. That's kind of annoying. But... I don't know. I can't really hold it any differently. You can you can read it, but don't lose it. Oh yeah, there was these weird tree blocking the road. I wonder if it's been cleared. The answer is no. So we can't proceed on to the next city, but we can at least um, train up a little bit and fight the guys around them. Strange trees blocking the road. It goes around when you talk to it. I heard it's because some it became wild when someone watered it with a squirt bottle. And I like it because it's named Kenya. Mail. Read. Dark cave leads to another road. Randy. Who would have guessed, right? Alright, so we're going to go ahead and clear out some trainers, and I will show you the progress and try not to pick up items like a dumbass.